Hey folks, this is Gray here, and in today's video we're going to be looking at the Nightcore EDC25 flat flashlight. So a lot of you folks that have been watching my channel for a long time know that I love flashlights. But the most common question I get is outside of the Olight flashlights you do reviews on, Gray, is there any other flashlights do you enjoy using? And what are your thoughts on some of these other companies? What I did is I reached out to several different companies and some of them reached out back. And uh, so we got some variations of the flat flashlights to do. Um, we're gonna be talking about the EDC25 uh, this go around and we have a couple others to go over with as well. Down the road, if you want, I can do a comparison of several of the different flashlights out there for everyday carry. Uh, and we can see which one is gonna be the best. So in this video, we'll be focusing on the Nightcore EDC25 and we're gonna be looking over some of the key points. What I have here in my notes is it has a max output of 3000 lumens with a throw of 328 yards. Uh, five brightness modes plus a strobe. It includes both battery and brightness level indicators, which we'll see uh, on the uh, up close and personal. Uh, it charges via USB type C uh, and it has a customizable strobe and turbo mode. But basically you can set these in the buttons. I'm trying to make them not so complicated uh, when I go over it. I'm just gonna show you the basics of this light. For the folks out there that want more, um, there's plenty of other reviews out there that can kind of get into the detail of programming and all that stuff. But I'll show you the basics of the light and how well it performs. All right, so I feel like I've made the key points really quick. So let's back to the back bench. We'll take a close up look at the EDC25 by Nightcore. And then we'll do some night shots and then we'll follow it up back with me on my final thoughts. All right, folks, so let's take a look at the Nikkor EDC25. And uh, so far, it is pretty impressive in regards to its build quality. Um, you have these dual LEDs right here and they're called UHI20 LEDs. It's just a technical term for the type of LEDs that's used in this light here. You can see it has these little imprints on there. I'm gonna get it up close to the camera there so that you can see that. I call it like a knurling. And what that does, it just gives you the grip depending on how you want to hold that flashlight but so it's more stable in your hand. You have your power button and your mode button on top here. You have this clip so it slides nice and easy into the pocket. Now, for me, this is pretty tight. Um, I would probably stretch this just a little bit. Uh, not that it's overly tight, but it's like to the point where I would like to kind of like loosen up just a hair bit so when I'm pulling in and out, it slides in and out pretty quickly. Um, but other than that, like I said, the build quality looks great. Uh, for the folks that care, this does have an IP54 rating. So basically that rating indicates that the electrical electronics inside here in this enclosure are protected from lim limited dust and water spray from any direction. Uh, it's not fully submersible. So if you're in the rain, you're fine. But if you're going to go diving with this, it's not going to work for you. Um, it does have an impact resistance of three feet or one meter. Um, and it takes about an hour or just about an hour to fully charge a thing from zero to 100%. The thing weighs about 3.6 ounces, maybe 3.7 ounces right around there. Um, all in all, the length of it's not too bad. We can pull a tape on it. All right, so with the tape on it, you can see it's about five and a quarter inches long. You're probably looking just under right around a half inch in thickness. And it's a little bit thicker at the top where that little hump is right there. So it's a little over a half inch there. Uh, and the width itself is what, an inch and an eighth. Uh, so all in all, it's uh, not too bulky of a light compared to a lot of different other lights out there. Again, it's flat, so it's made for everyday carry. It's made to fit comfortable in the pocket and, and whatnot. So the thing is, is how do you use this? Because a lot of times when you get this out of the package, you're going to push this button and you're going to see that red button right next to that locking icon right there. When you push the button, see how it locks? Well, basically this has a half press and a full press on this on this power button right here. So, so in order to get it out of lock mode, what you're going to do is you're going to press this top button right here. It's like a half and a full press. And you're going to go half and then full all the way down. And then you can see the indicator light up. Of course, the light is in low mode when I do that. And that's the indicator right there for the battery. Uh, if you push this button here, you can kind of see the indicator. When you tap that power button right there, it lets you know where the battery is. This has a multi-locking mode uh, that you can use to kind of set different things, but I'm not really going to uh, kind of go over that too much. So now that we have the light on and you guys can see the battery indicator there, this is the lumens indicator or power indicator in regards to the amount of light you're getting out of this. Uh, so basically right now it's in low mode or ultra low. And then as you can kind of click this button here, you're gonna see that blue light kind of go up there. 
and also the light get bright. So as you see, I'm going to go through this, and this is going to be in the uh, from ultra low to low to medium. Push that button again to medium, and then of course you're going to go to high. Uh, so to kind of give you the idea, let me bring this back down to ultra low. This is going to be about 15 lumens and last you about 55 hours. If I go into the low mode, which is the next one up, that's going to be 65 lumens and last you for about 14 hours. Click that one more time. We'll go into medium mode. Medium mode is going to give you about 200 lumens and give you about, I think it's four hours and 15 minutes. And then of course we'll tap it again to go to high mode. As you can see there, high mode is a thousand lumens. And of course we'll see this in the night shots. Uh, will last you for about an hour and 30 minutes. So a thousand lumens for an hour and 30 minutes is not bad at all, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this back to low mode. So let's say if I had this, this thing locked, right? I want to show you a really cool, neat feature on this. So it's locked back there. So it doesn't accidentally do anything in your pocket. It doesn't stay on or whatnot. So you can still hit this mode button right here to go directly to turbo mode. So turbo mode, you're going to see is very, very bright. As you can see, that is probably messing with the camera. I can even feel the warmth from that light from here. But that's 3,000 lumens right there, folks. And uh, all by hitting the mode button right here. So you have access to that just in case you can't, you know, go through the whole unlocking procedure here to unlock the device to get into low mode and go through all the different settings in regards to how bright you want your light. Even in this mode here, you can still hit the this button right here to go into your, your I call it the mode button, to go straight to turbo. And I like that. I'm not going to do the strobe on here, folks. And the reason I'm not going to do the strobe is some people are sensitive to those type of strobing lights on the screen. So I try to prevent from doing that. Uh, and to turn it off or put it back in the locking mode, it's just the same thing. I'm going to hold that button down. And you're going to see it goes back to lock mode. There's a different lock mode that kind of does like a partial thing. But again, I don't feel necessary to go over that. And uh, it's just my personal preference. Uh, there's lots of other folks out there who have kind of went over that aspect. Now, I know some folks may ask, well, Gray, well, how long does 3,000 lumens last you? Well, in most flashlights, when they're max output, you may get anywhere from three minutes to 10 minutes out of lights like that. I don't know the exact specifications because I looked in the manual of this light and it didn't really give me one. So I can't really pass that information on to you. But from my experience in regards to using other lights like this, you kind of get uh, just a few minutes of it. It's basically in a momentary switch to kind of blind someone uh, AKA an everyday carry light. Uh, it's like a non-intrusive weapon to kind of blind someone to get away with them without actually using something like a deadly force or whatnot. Lights have a definitely a lot of different purposes outside of just, you know, lighting something up because they can be used as in a defensive manner, especially like the strobe or a very bright light, especially if it's dark. You're basically taking that person's night vision or that night sight that they have. And once you hit them with that light, it's going to blind them enough time for hopefully for you to get away from that situation. Hopefully I explain that uh, in a manner that everybody can understand. Outside of that, uh, those are the basics of the Nikkor EDC25. And again, the basics. Um, like I said, some people will get a lot more technical than I will on these lights. Uh, but I know a lot of you folks just like, hey, how do you turn it on? What's the brightness levels? Uh, what are some of the you know ways to kind of get through these menus and whatnot? They have the new one, the EDC, I think it's the 27 that has a digital screen on the front versus these LEDs. Um, if you're into that, you know, some people want something just with lights on it. Some people don't. Some people may say, well, you know, it's too much too complicated to go through the locking mechanism. That's why I say you have to make the decision on finding what light works best for you. That being said, I'll go ahead and put that down there. And to give you a comparison of the size of it, uh, I'll put the arc felt next to it right there. So you can kind of see the size of that light. And this is a light that I have yet to review that's coming on the channel here soon. And you can kind of see the size difference of these three lights. This one is kind of nifty because it has a light on the side, but we'll talk about that in a different video. We're kind of focusing on the EDC25 in this one. But just to kind of give you an idea of the size comparison to some of the other flat flashlights out there. All right, so that being said, let me go ahead and pull those to the side. Again, that is a close-up look at the Nightcore EDC25. Let's go ahead and take a look at the night shots and see how well it does outside, how it illuminates. It is a definitely going to be a flood pattern. The distance on it is not that bad. So to convert kind of like 320 yards into distance, you can kind of just, you know, times it by three and kind of get an idea, which is basically about 1,076 1 feet. If you convert 328 yards over to feet, it equates to roughly 1,076 to give you the beam distance on this in max mode. Again, that's 3,000 lumens with a beam distance of about a, a little over 1,000 feet. 
which is not bad for a little portable handheld pocket EDC light. All right, folks, uh, we're in my backyard and we're gonna try out the Nikkor EDC 25. And uh, I don't know if you can see it here. Let me see if I push the button here, and show you that it is on the low mode. Uh, down here, you can see that blue light right there. Kind of shows that it's on low. If I tap it again, it stays on low. And if I put it out in the yard, you can gonna see what low does for you, or ultra low. My apologies. And please don't mind the pup. He just, he loves to be on YouTube. Anyways, as I'm scrolling through there, you can see how you can, you know, light up on that mode. And again, this mode lasts the longest in using this light. Now we're going to go ahead and amp this up a little bit more to number two, which is going to be low. And I'll, I'll be honest with you folks, this thing does put out a great amount of light as I kind of pan across through the yard. As you can see, it kind of as it hits plants and stuff like that, it's even hitting the tree outside of the yard. That tree is outside, and that one way down there, it's even getting some light out that way as well. Uh, but as a generalized light, this is looking really good, and I have high expectations for the other modes as well. So we'll go ahead and put this into media mode. We'll tap that one more time. There we go, in media mode. Kind of put that out there. And that is definitely very bright. We're not even in high mode yet or even in turbo mode. So the light is being very, very effective. So I kind of pan around with the light itself. I mean, you can see the dog is lit up when it hits them as a spot. Just kind of want to pan around there. You can see that tree a lot better way down there now. Uh, you figure each of these lots are about a quarter acre. So that's about a half acre away. That tree down there. That one's at the edge, so that's about a quarter acre, and this one's a little bit closer. And then you can see, of course, neighbor's yards are even been lit up uh, in this mode. So let's go ahead and jack it up to high. See where we're at. Let's go to that one last button there. And this is in full high mode. And man, that's a thousand lumens that puts out a lot of light. And yes, folks, my neighbors probably do not like me when I do these light tests. But I'll kind of bring this up a little bit to kind of show you how it can amplify almost the entire yard in this mode at a thousand lumens and it's a very clean light i like the way it looks definitely pretty solid so what i want to do is i want to kind of walk over with the light uh and just kind of like pan around as i'm going you know let's say if i wanted to go and check the garden or something like that uh we walk over here even i mean you can light up everything you need to see what you need to do uh but i'm gonna come over here past my fence line and let's say if you're walking with the light or if you're taking your dog out for a walk, you can kind of see that. I guess the hard part is just trying to see that spread out there. There we go. You can kind of see where it cuts off. It is kind of a focus flood. So I think that's uh, with that dual LED in there is kind of giving that hot spot and then that flood beyond that as we pan around with that light. All right, so the reason I like to come over here to this lake is to see the distance on this here. If I'm out fishing or something like that, uh, kind of pan out past that. My apologies, my likes to bark at everything. I don't think he sees anything. He's just being entertained by me. And you can see how it really lights up these trees uh, come across there. And then I like to pan over here down this way because there's three, three and a half yards basically. Because past that, there's a house here and then a house on the other side of that fence. And uh, this is kind of focusing this beam down a specific area that's funneled to where you can actually light up the other house. All right, so let's go ahead and go full-blown turbo here. Hit that turbo mode, and that's definitely going to add 2,000 more lumens to that, so a total of 3,000 lumens, and it's definitely lighting that house up. If anybody's in there, they're probably wondering, what the heck is that guy doing? All right, let me do this. I'm going to kind of pan down the side of this area here. Because you can see how many houses are down here if I go down this path right here and move to this section here. So we're at 1,000 lumens. We'll hit that 3,000 lumens right now. And definitely lights things up. I mean, look how bright those trees are. Off and on. I'm even lighting up several houses down that way. And then, of course, across the lake. Just showing you the difference between 1,000 lumens and 3,000 lumens. Very nice. Um, and like I said, let me, I can pan this way from this direction and, uh, luckily no one's living in that house right there right now. 
but that's at a thousand lumens right there. If you're coming to check out, you know, you hear a weird noise or something like that, you can definitely use this light to accomplish the goals that you need in regards to that. Let's say power outages, you're trying to see if there's any debris on your roof or any damage anywhere, you're definitely gonna work that out. And then of course, if we need to hit that turbo mode, we just hit that button and it's definitely lighting things up. Definitely a nice light, folks. Uh, but of course, as always, let me know what you think down in the comments. You know, sometimes I'll do these night shots like in the woods uh, and kind of give you an idea what it's like using it in the woods. But a lot of people use lights on an everyday carry basis in their homes, be it in neighborhoods and whatnot. Uh, so that's why I kind of like to kind of focus on this uh, for people walking their dogs and just having an EDC pocket light on them at all times. Uh, I think this light is a really, really solid light. It definitely puts out some powerful lighting uh, on there. All right, so let's go back inside and wrap this video up. All right, so what do you guys think of the Nikkor EDC 25? You've seen other reviews that I've done with the Olight Arkfeld and the Olight Arkfeld Pro. Uh, this is a very similar flashlight in nature in regards to the form factor. A little bit bulkier on one end, but it's definitely a very bright light. I do like that. It's very powerful and ergonomically feels good in the hand and of course fits good in the pocket. So is this a light for you? Well, the only person that can really decide that is you yourself. And what I mean by that is just because I review a product doesn't mean you gotta run out and buy it. Um, of course, that's always a great thing, but what I hope to get out of doing all these different reviews is to give you, the viewers, an option of looking at different manufacturers and different lights and see what's going to be most cost-effective and give you the options that you're looking for in a flashlight for everyday carry. I try to be as honest as possible in regards to the reviews that I do here on the channel. Uh, there's a lot of things that I turn down, believe it or not, uh, when it comes to reviews. Uh, but all in all, I think the Nikkor EDC25 is definitely one of my top contenders in regards to comparing it to the Arkfeld, as well as some of the other flat flashlights that we'll be doing some reviews on uh, here over the next several weeks and whatnot. But all in all, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video as always and appreciate that so much. And if you got any value out of the video, hit that thumbs up button, which is always greatly appreciated. And if you're new here, please check out the rest of the channel and see what we have to offer here on the channel itself. I'm just making sure I didn't miss any notes as well as I'm looking down at this. And uh, as always, folks, remember, you are not alone. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys in a rebound. God bless every single one of you amazing people out there.